as of uh, yesterday uh, evening, we sold uh, close to 2,000 tickets already, which is uh, a record for the stop up. And uh, I'm not surprised with these two superstars uh, on the card uh, that we will have a sellout at the stop up center. I like to uh, now thank as well uh, our co-promoter, uh, uh, Tom Brown. This is a co-promotion with TGB and Ringstar. Uh, I don't know, I've seen Tom before, but I haven't seen him. Uh, I don't know where he is. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted him to say a few words, but uh, in any case, I, uh, I'm looking forward to work with him and Brittany and his team uh, on this uh, fight card here in Los Angeles. I'd like to thank as well Dan Beckerman, the CEO of AHG. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, there's a terrific story in today's LA Sports section, LA Times Sports section, written by Lance Puckmeyer about the passion Dan Beckerman has and how he really is single handedly responsible on bringing some of these fi big fights here to. Um, to Los Angeles, and uh, no question about it, he's, very t he's a very talented negotiator and knows how to navigate through the often uh, uh, difficult waters of boxing by having a great relationship really with all promoters, all major promoters in the game. So thank you, Dan. I'd like to acknowledge Andy Foster as well, uh, the president or the chairman of the uh, California State Athletic Commission, David Nathanson, the head of business operation for Fox Sports, uh, this is really amazing to have these two uh, fights uh, live on, on, on the one of the major networks uh, in the United States, Fox, Channel 11. Great for the sport, great for exposure. Thank so thank you very much, Fox. I'd like to thank Katie Pandolfo as well, the general manager from the Stop Up Center. Uh, the Stop Up Center's nickname is the War Grounds, and I think that's very fitting. Uh, there's never really been, I don't remember ever having ever had a bad fight at the stop-up center. I think it's the whole atmosphere and the way this venue is built that it really brings the best out in the fighters. And uh, the fight fans as well have a special treat there because there's really no bad seat. For $30, uh, you're going to have an amazing, amazing uh, time. i like to acknowledge Team Watson. They are here in full strength. Uh, both uh, boys and Sam is here. Uh, always, you know, when they are somewhere, when you see them, you know this is a big event, it's a main event, because they don't associate the Team Watson brand with anything but, so uh, always great uh, to see them. Uh, I know that the fighters very much like to have you guys in the corner, so um, happy to have all of you here. And then, of course, least but not last, uh, the man who makes it all happen, uh, my good friend, uh, uh, who we have had great success uh, in the past, and I'm sure great success going forward, and that is uh, Al Heyman. So thank you very much, Al, for uh, allowing us uh, to put this great card together here in Los Angeles. And then, of course, as well, the presenting sponsor, Corona, for their continued commitment to the sport. Now, let's talk first about the, mat, the, the battle of Guadalajara. Um, both Abner Mares and Andres Gutierrez are coming from Guadalajara, uh, so there's a lot of uh, pride at stake there as well. Uh, with Abner Mares, we have a five-time uh, world champion. He fought the best, and uh, fighting the best is what makes you what he is today, a modern-day uh, legend and that you only become and that you only earn if you continuously, as a fighter, challenge yourself to fight the best. I have never, ever, and I've been involved with Abner, Abner Mara since his very first fight coming out of the Olympics, I've never seen Abner turn down an opponent. And so I was not surprised when um, uh, Andres Gutierrez was suggested to him that he had no problem whatsoever. With Andres Gutierrez, he's fighting a fighter with a record of 35 wins, one loss, and 25 knockouts. Uh, he is one of those hunters. 
He is one of those hunters who are going after Abner and everything he has achieved. He realizes what a win would mean for him and for his family. He's 24 years young and was waiting patiently for this opportunity. He had it a few months ago to fight in Ireland against Carl Frampton. Looked, looked spectacular, great at the weigh-in, uh, was well prepared and was going for the upset. And I actually predicted, for those who want to want to read uh, online, I predicted that uh, Gutierrez was going to beat Carl Frampton. Uh, unfortunately, Gutierrez then had a freak accident. He slipped in the shower and he couldn't fight. So here he is. He has another opportunity, another bite at the apple, so to speak, uh, for the world title. And I can assure you that he will come ready, hungry, and prepared to upset uh, Abner Morris. Now, uh, Team Morris, uh, first I would like to introduce to you now uh, Robert Garcia. There's no question that Robert Garcia is today, if not one of the best, in my opinion, the best trainer in the sport. Uh, and his record speaks for itself. Uh, uh, you look at what he has done uh, with Mikey Garcia, who in my opinion is pound for pound, the most talented and best fighter in the world today. You look at what he has done with Anthony Morris at a time when many fight fans and media members counted Morris out, what he did with him, come up with the right game plan to defeat, to defeat Dejan Slachatinin last December here at the Galen Center. Um, you know, you see now what he's doing with two of my Mexican prospects, the two Mexican Olympians, Lindolfo Delgado and Misael Rodriguez. So he really is, in my opinion, today a league of his own. It's a pleasure for me now to introduce to you Robert Garcia. Ain't got much to say. Just want to thank everybody for being here, for supporting this event. It's uh I think it's a great event for Southern California. We got Leo, who is obviously one of the great champions here in Southern California, and Abner Mares, and uh, obviously, you know, Avalos. Glad for him to get an opportunity. You know, we're gonna be ready for uh, for a great fight, and I just hope everybody shows up and uh, supports uh, the local Southern California fighters. Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh, Robert. Uh, now, next up to the podium is somebody who certainly doesn't need any introduction anywhere in the world, but particularly not here in his adopted hometown of Los Angeles. He's a 2004 Olympian where he represented Mexico. He faced everyone, as I mentioned before, from 118 to 126 pounds. Has never, and I really mean never, been in a boring fight. Always gives it his all. And uh, as I mentioned as well, turned back the clock in December and proved everyone that uh, this chapter here uh, for Abner Mars is uh, just the beginning for other great fights. Uh, it's the hottest division in the sport. He knows that first things first. He knows that he's going to have a tough challenge ahead of him. But as I said, he never shies down of one. And with the record of 30 wins and two losses, the five-time world champion, my good friend, Abner Morris. Thank you, Richard. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I was hoping that I would be on this side and Lee on this side <laughs> for this fight, but, you know, you know business-wise and for the reasons it did not happen, it would happen, it will happen within time. Uh, but now we have uh, two opponents, two tough opponents in front of us. Myself, I have Andres Gutierrez, whom you guys uh, already probably searched him up. And like uh, Richard said, he was going to fight Frampton. Uh, Richard said he called an up, uh, upset on that fight. Let's see what he calls on this one. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm going to be ready. As hard as I was training for the Leo fight, I'm going to train as hard for this fight because we all know that, you know, these young fighters, he's, what, 24 years old. Uh, has for that young age, a uh, tremendous record of 36, 25 knockouts, only one defeat. Uh, he's, a, he's a warrior. I uh, got no easy task, no easy fight. And, you know, but he doesn't have the talent I have. He doesn't have the heart I have. He doesn't have the coach I have. He doesn't have, you know, just overall anything I have. So I'm just going to come out victorious. I'm going to come out and give you guys a good fight. I'm fighting again here in California, my home. Uh, show you guys, you know, what I've learned with my team. 
I want to thank um, Robert Garcia for making me, bringing the best of Abner. As you guys saw my last fight, and it's going to continue to shine. We feel confident, you know, sparring after sparring, how we've looked. I want to thank my sparring partner, uh, Louis, who was here too. Uh, great sparring partner, young, you know, um, up and comer. Uh, what's your last name? Luis. Uh, Coria, Luis Coria. You guys are, hopefully we get him in that car too. He's an up-and-comer, uh, great amateur background, great sparring. And, um, you know, like I said, Robert Garcia, his son Pita. I want to thank Luis Garcia, my condition coach, who's been my condition coach for, what, the past eight years, if not more. Um, I want to thank my wife, my kids, my brother who's back there, everyone, my camera guy, you guys, everyone, you know, Leo, uh, Avalos, I've, I've known Avalos for many years as well, we used to be sparring partners back in the days, um, and he's a tough guy, man, so we both have a tough fight at the Stub Up Center, do not miss it, October 14th, I can't wait to show you guys a good fight from my side, to show you guys a new Abner, and I, I know I, I, I sound repeatedly because I say this every fight, and, and it's because I am learning more, and I am becoming a better fighter, and you will see. So thank you guys again so much. Al Heyman, the whole team, the Watsons, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Apner. And, uh, you know, about who would I pick in this fight, I can tell you uh, there are two guys in the sport I would never pick against, not only because they're just two great friends, and two great fighters, but because they are so skillful. They are so skillful, and both of those guys are sitting up here, and that's Leo and that's uh, Apner. Uh, they're just uh, unbelievable people inside the ring and outside of the ring. So, so you asked who I would pick in this fight? Well, you know, there you got your answer. <laughs> now, uh, let's move on to uh, Leo Santa Cruz uh, versus Chris Alalos. Um, Another fight between two of the most exciting fighters in the sport. I mean, when you look at the matchmaking of those two fights, you just know for sure that these are going to be fights which are going to be exciting. Uh, these are uh, really not just like opponents. I wouldn't even call them opponents. These are guys who are hunters who want to hunt for that title, for what Leo has and what Apner has. And uh, Chris Avalos is certainly... Uh, no exception to that. So I know that Chris will be ready. He's coming off a, uh, a, a TKO victory over, over Miguel Flores in his last fight. Um, he knows uh, he has a great team behind him as well with his father. Incidentally, both of those fighters are trained by their fathers. I think that's uh, very noteworthy as well. And uh, I'd like to introduce to you now uh, Felipe Avalos, the father and trainer of Chris Avalos. Uh, buenas tardes a todos y muchas gracias para, por venir ahora en este día. Y uh, pues yo pienso que va a ser una pelea, buena pelea, una pelea que no vamos, esta chance, que, esta oportunidad que nos está dando Leo Santa Cruz, gracias. Muchas gracias al equipo Santa Cruz. Y, y les prometo que va a ser una pelea muy buena y venimos muy bien preparados. Esta, esta oportunidad no la vamos a dejar ir y la vamos a aprovechar al 100%. Se los prometo que va a ser una pelea muy buena y emocionante para tomar. Gracias. Well, um, if I might uh, want to translate for those who, of you, excuse me. Oh, well, no, I can translate it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Felipe said that... Uh, this is one of those opportunities where you know you're going to have to be well prepared, that he will be well prepared, that Chris has been waiting for that, and that um, he can't wait for this for, for October the 14th. Uh, did I pretty much say that well? Yeah, All right, good. <laughs> um, you see, come on. <laughs> um, you're going to speak in English, I'm going to then translate into Spanish. Is that okay? <laughs> well, I wouldn't do that. Um, well, now uh, to move on, it is a pleasure for me uh, to introduce to you a fighter with the record of 27 and 5. He's fighting out of Lancaster, California, and as his father just said, I know he's been waiting for that. Uh, he knows that beating uh, Leo Santa Cruz uh, will be a, a game changer, a career changer for him. 
He's hungry, he's ready, and he will show up on October the 14th. It's a pleasure for me to introduce you, Chris Avalos. Yeah, hi. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming. And also, like my dad said, you know, we'd like to thank Al Heyman and Leo Santa Cruz for the opportunity. And um, yeah, just, I'm not a big talker, so I'm just ready for the fight. And you know, it's going to be a, a good fight. I'm beyond ready. I think it's going to be a nice little little war, so kind of safe for the fight. I, I, like, I like going toe to toe, so so does he. So, I mean, it's going to be a good fight. And again, I'd like to thank everybody. And yeah, I got not, not a lot to say, so appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Chris, uh, now on to uh, Team Santa Cruz. Uh, really a pleasure to introduce them again. Uh, I've done a few of uh, the press conferences for Leo, so I'm really happy to be part of your career again. Um, I'd like to uh, first uh, acknowledge uh, Jose uh, Santa Cruz, uh, Leo's father. Uh, he is uh, unfortunately wasn't able to be here uh, today, but uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge as well Antonio, uh, Leo's brother, um, who, uh, I don't see, do you want to say a few words or? Okay. You're okay, all right, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, welcome and uh, happy that, that you are here. What can I say about Leo Santa Cruz? A three division world champion, 118 pounds, 122 pounds, 126 pounds. Um, last fight uh, was a fight of the year against Carl Frampton. But frankly, uh, I think in the last five, six, seven years, uh, Leo Santa Cruz fights have always been either fight of the year or candidate of the year or round of the year or fighter of the year. He was always involved in that. And that tells you what an exciting fighter Leo Santa Cruz is. Another one of those fighters who never turns down a challenge, comes well prepared and uh, Boring doesn't exist in the Santa Cruz uh, uh, vocabulary. Uh, he's, he's, he's exciting. He's, he's must-see TV. He's one of those handful fighters where you don't want to miss the chance to see him live. And you have an opportunity here. Fight fans from and around Los Angeles for $30. I mean, $30 to see not only Leo, but Apner as well, and as I said in the beginning of the press conference, double trouble at the stop-up center. It is a pleasure for me now to introduce to you another fighter who I really consider a friend as well, a gentleman in and out of the ring, with a record of 33 and one, the current WBA Super World Champion, Leo Santa Cruz. Muy buenas tardes a todos, and good afternoon everyone. And well, I'm just very happy, you know, I'm very happy to be back to fight here in LA. And you know, I'll, I owe all this to, you know, to my manager, Al Heyman, you know, to all, all of you guys, to, you know, uh, Richard, to Tom Brown from CGP, the Watson team, you know, my family, uh, all the people, all the fans that make this possible. You know, I'm just glad to be able to fight here in LA again. And like, you know, uh, people, yeah, they were expecting for me to fight, you know, Abner Maris, but I don't know, for a reason, you know, it happened. And, you know, Chris Avalos, he's a, a fighter I know, I know him since an amateur, you know. We, uh, I seen him fight there. Uh, he fought a couple of my, you know, teammates. He beat one of them. And then me and him fought too, and we were like 15, 16 years old, and we fought. It was a great fight, you know, tough fight. And people, a lot of people are saying that, you know, why take easy fight? There's no easy fight. I, I don't see no easy fight. Uh, I, I never understand made no fighter. For me, every fighter that step up there in the ring with me is the same as tough as anybody else, you know, because anything will happen up there in the ring, you know. Um, a good shot, he could connect you with good shot uh, or anything, you know. He, he's tough, you know, he's tough. Uh, I've seen him fight, and he has good power. Out of 27 wins, he got 20 knockouts. So, like I said, you know, I never understand made nobody. I prepared. Right now, my focus is on him. Uh, we were training really hard for him, and we're gonna come really good. You know, we're gonna go out there, give a great fight. Like he says, you know, he come forward, I go forward. So it's gonna be a good little war, and hopefully, God, we get the win. 
Uh, we will give you guys the rematch that you guys all want. You know, me against Abner Mares. You know, Mares is a tough fighter. Uh, you guys saw the first fight. It was a war, toe to toe. I respect him. You know, like I said, it was really close fight. Um, thank God I got the victory, and now you know uh, he could get the you know be able to take the a bench that you know bench last the last. But you know we're gonna train. He has a great trainer, Robert Garcia. You know he changed them. You know in the first fight against me. You know uh, he he came he brawled and he and maybe people could say that that was a mistake. You know that he should have boxed me and then. Against Cuellar, you know, uh, he boxed really good. He surprised all of us, you know. He did what he had to do. He was smart. And that makes it, yes, for an even better fight if, you know, if we get the opportunity to fight each other. But right now, like I said, my focus is on Avalos. I know it's going to be a great fight, and we're just getting ready for that fight. And hopefully October 14th, we do a great fight for all the fans. And so come support us, and thank you, all of you guys. <laughs> that was too long. <laughs> I cannot speak uh, that long. Bro, do you want to say a few words in Spanish? Oh, yeah. Maybe that would be yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, sí, lo que está diciendo es que, este, como yo, yo siempre di, lo he dicho, yo nunca sobreestimo a ningún peleador. Este, mucha gente está diciendo, amor, que por qué to tomar esta una pelea fácil o así. Yo digo, para mí ninguna pelea es fácil. Para mí toda pelea es dura. Chris Avalos es un gran peleador. Los conozco en los Mateos. Este... Y es fuerte, es fuerte y viene al tú por tú este, y viene a dar una gran pelea. Este, y como dije, este, todo puede pasar arriba del ring. Este, nosotros nomás nos preparamos en el ring para hacer la pelea fácil. Ahí es donde, este, como dicen, se ganan las peleas, entrenando en el gimnasio fuerte, haciendo todo. Y como dice mucha gente estaba esperando la pelea contra Abner Mares. Este, y ojalá primero de Dios todo salga bien, salgamos victoriosos de esa pelea. Primero me estoy enfocando en esta pelea y si salimos victoriosos, Primero Dios le vamos a dar la revancha contra Arne Mares, pero primero que pase lo que pase, este Diosito va a decidir qué pasó. Muchísimas gracias a todos y que tengan un buen día. Thank you, uh, Leo, and I think you all heard it from Leo. You all heard it from Abner as well. What they really want those two warriors to fight each other. But uh, on October the 14th, this is a must-win night, and I know. Uh, for uh, Avalos and Gutierrez, who is not here, but when they hear or read these kind of statements, that gives them extra motivation to uh, uh, upset the apple cart, as they say. So um, I know those two warriors here will not underestimate uh, these uh, opponents, and we as fight fans are going to be the beneficiaries of that. I know, I know, and I don't like to guarantee, but I, I will guarantee in this case, we will see on October the 14th at the stop-up center toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Double trouble from the stop-up center October the 14th for $30. Hope to see you all there. Thank you very much. We are going to post the fighters now. <laughs> Come on, I'm good.